Hello, my friends. Guess what? I got a package in the mail today from the queen of van life. Liz herself sent me a package from the Adventure Closet. Um, we're going to get in there and take a look at it and see what we got. All right, we got a box of rocks and a couple of pictures that Charlie taken. Uh, Charlie Duncan Photography. If y'all want to check that out, if y'all haven't already, do it because he's got some crazy photos on there. And it also comes with a challenge. If y'all want to read that, y'all can. But she um, is challenging me to take all of these, most of these are Canadian rocks, and she wants me to try and tumble them and see what happens. And I guess I'm going to try it, but we're going to take a look at them first. Wow, we got some crazy stuff. I think we're going to need some water. Let me get some water. All right, this one looks like pet wood with some common opal, I would imagine. That's, that stuff is, usually shines pretty good. I'll have to do a little trimming on it, but I think we'll better get that one looking okay. This is another cool one. I think that should look good. All right, I don't know how hard this is, but we're going to check it out. This um got some good pattern on it and crazy color, of course. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's a really cool rock. It's got some blue on it. Yeah, I don't know if she colored that in with a marks a lot or not. I'm going to have to check into that. I mean, she might have just painted that. But no, that looks that's pretty cool. I like that. Nah, this little egg has got some water lines in it, and it's out of. Okay, this little egg has got some water lines in it. That's gonna be nice. I don't know if I'll cut that off or not. Probably. We'll see. That's a real cool looking one. I like that. If it was big, I'd cut it, but we ain't gonna cut it. We're just gonna polish it like that. All right, this is a cool little wagon. That'll probably all come off when we polish it, hopefully. There's more agate on that side, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right, this looks like a little agate. They got some agate stuff going on there. But unfortunately, it's too small to cut. So I'll cut it tomorrow. <laughs> all right, this one here is really heavy. It could be... I don't think it's regular band design, but it could be something with iron in it. I don't know. Doesn't look like the regular band design I've seen, but it is heavy. Whoa, come back here. All right, this one here, I don't know if that's wood or a faker, but it's pretty cool looking, whatever it is. It'll, it should polish up just like that, so that'll be cool. I think this is agatized wood. Looks like it. It's a cool piece, though. This one looks like it could be Canadian church or something like that. Um, cool looking rock. I think when all that gets off of that, it's going to polish pretty nice. All right, this is the other half of that agate I showed y'all earlier. I didn't realize they were together, but they are. But yeah, that should look cool. Trim that up a little bit and get that off. And I might even surprise y'all and cut off the back of this thing and try and find some pattern there. Well, it won't be a surprise now. But I think I'm going to take that off because it looks like it's cracked. I might be wrong, but this does not look like it's from Canada. It looks like I was on the pet wood, but I guess Canada could have some stuff like this too. But yeah, that's some cool stuff. That should polish nice. I don't know. I'm gonna trim. I have to trim it to make it a little easier to polish. That's cool looking though. I like that. All right, this is a cool one. This thing should look nice polished. I 
was thinking about cutting, trimming that down, but sometimes when you trim it, these layers will chip away more when it's flat like that. So I'm just going to leave it like that to start with. And if it chips anyway, I'll probably just cut it and flatten it out. But that is cool. I like that one. All right, this piece here cannot be tumbled. Oh, I won't tumble it anyway. I'm just going to leave it as a specimen. But we need to talk about this piece. Look at this thing. That is cool. Lots of crystals on. I got it wet, but I'm trying to clean it off a little bit. But all this, would, if I tumbled it, all this would go away. All the malachite, cotton malachite would just disappear. So I'm going to leave it like that. But I think I remember seeing this piece in the museum y'all went to. This didn't happen to fall in your purse by accident, huh, Liz? I'm not trying to get you in trouble or nothing, you know, but... <laughs> nah, I'm just joking with her. But that is a cool piece. I think I'm going to flatten out the bottom a little bit and just make it, on the, make it for, uh, stand up. It stands up already, but I'm going to make it a little bit smoother. But yeah, that's a nice piece. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all this. Now I know I owe a box of Crowley's. That is cool, though. I like that. Yeah, that's going to be a good little specimen there. Really cool. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'm getting closer to 900. So I'll be giving away some free rocks at 900. If you all want some or a chance to win some, get in there. Subscribe. Make a few comments. Let me know y'all on board. And thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe.